All right, 738 coming up he's been called one of the greatest bassists of rock music green day's mike dern is here to talk about how his wife's personal battle with breast cancer they've been very public about this they've been very brave they're raising a lot of money this weekend they're encouraging other people to help them with that so we're going to talk about that when we come back love it i'm not a part of a redneck agenda Of course, that's one of the most iconic bass lines of all time uh, from Green Day. And the man behind that is here. Mike Dirnt is here with his wife, Brittany. Mike is bassist for that little band called Green Day. Uh, <laughs> four years ago, he and his wife were hit with some devastating news. Brittany was diagnosed with breast cancer. After getting the news, Mike posted a statement on Facebook with a resounding message, she will beat this. They went on to document their cancer journey, which included chemotherapy and nine surgeries on their Instagram pages. As of today, Brittany is a breast cancer survivor. <laughs> Welcome, Mike and Brittany. Hello. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. How are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm feeling wonderful. I feel very blessed to be here and very thankful. <laughs> I mean, walk us through this journey, because you guys have decided to be public about it, which hopefully can help a lot of other people as well. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, well, the initial decision to be, you know, public about it and post the journey through it was, uh, it started off as trying to gain some sort of uh, control in a, uh, in a controlless situation. You feel like uh, you're powerless a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually it became more of Britney's diary and, and um, really, really happy to have documented that and also show people that, you know, there's life in it, there's life through it, and there's life after it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's hope. And I'm sure you heard probably from a lot of people along the way, messages and other things that could relate to your journey. Absolutely. There's been so many times during, and especially now, which I'm much more aware of my experience, and when they come to me and they ask what to do, or they have a family member or someone else that they're connected to, and how, what do you do, and how do you go through it, and I just think, I just think it's day by day, and just really keep faith in knowing that you're going to get through it, and just take it by that day. And, and obviously this affects the entire family. Mike, what's your advice to the family members that are going through? Because sometimes that can be even harder to watch somebody you love suffer. Well, it, it's for me it was um, watching her journey was always harder. The heart, I mean, you know, I had to learn a lot of $10 words really quick. Um, but I leaned on, I was fortunate to, you know, we were really fortunate to be connected with, with Tower, um, Tower Oncology. And they really helped uh, sort of uh, mitigate the complications of everything and uh, explain what was really going on. And I think you just, you know, what do they say? When you're going through it, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of, of Tower Oncology, they've got a big event happening this weekend that Thanks you're both going to be a part of. Tell us a little bit about what that's about. So it's Tower Cancer Research Foundation. Um, and it's, it's basically trying to get research for the young scientists to find more cancer solutions and yeah. hopefully and it, be having, cancer free. Yeah, the event this weekend, uh, this Saturday. Celebrity poker event. Yeah, We're looking at some pictures event. from past years It's of this. called Andy Up and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's, it's uh, really just, it's a fundraiser and it's also uh, a great way to, you know, get in there and help support these young researchers who are um, really leading, leading the way for the next cure. You know, the, 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 the medicine, you know, Cancer-free generation is the goal, and um, the medicine that saved her life wasn't always available. Some very, you know, a lot of research and a lot of <laughs> a lot of really intelligent people put their life, and they're the heroes here. Yeah. So they they put all their uh, their time and energy into that. And we want to support that. Um, hopefully, the next round of uh, medicines, you know, gets us even further, and we can reach that goal of a cancer-free generation. And, and it, it's got to be emotional for you to be here and to be it, talking about it. I can it, feel it. it. it is, yes, indeed. Um, I, we've publicly, like Mike said, have been on Instagram, and that was like my journal. I treated it very much as an entry, and it helped to just express and get feelings out. And then when I started reading some of the responses, it was somewhat of an impact, and that was very touching to help others and just for them to know that you can do it. You're not alone. 
and there's life after cancer. Yeah, and that's what this weekend's going to be about. It's also going to be a lot of fun, right? Yeah, yes. a lot of big stars <laughs> well, playing poker, yeah. and there's yes. going to be celebrity, uh, celebrity, well, professional uh, poker players there, and, and a lot of other uh, really interesting. It's a whole iconoclast of people. It's interesting, and yes. uh, so it's going to be a hot mess. That's what, that's, <laughs> what, that's what LA is about: a hot mess and bringing a lot of different people together. And Tower Cancer's Research Foundation's Cancer-Free Generation Poker Tournament. It's happening this Saturday night at the Sofitel Hotel, starting at six o'clock. For more information on the event or for tickets to go, go to TowerCancer.org or FoxLA.com. We're going to link you up. I'm going to head out there as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we're all going yeah, to. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can we win some We got some great money. auction items. I, yeah. uh, I got the band to donate a guitar that we all signed and a bass that we all signed. And, um, so get your checkbooks out. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you make that happen? <laughs> call, call I, know, in. I know two people. You know some people. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you for all the great music, too. Uh, a lot of joy to a lot of us over the years as well.